In this video, we're going to look at the best way to use your phone or tablet with Tidal and an external DAC. Make sure the USB-C cable is connected to your phone and the other end is connected to your DAC. If you're using one of our USB-C cables, the side where it says OTG host should go to the music player. Open the Tidal app. In the home screen, you'll see on the upper right hand corner, a settings icon. From here, you want to go to the audio and playback. From here, you want to change the Wi-Fi streaming to maximum. Um, now, if you want the best sound quality, we always recommend to download your album or the tracks that you like to listen to first and then play it th from the downloads rather than streaming it live through the servers. From there, you want to go down to the playback and normalize volume setting. You want to change that to off. You do not want normalized volume to be turned on. So if you see this in blue like this, that means it's on. You want to turn that off. Turning that off will improve the sound quality of your music. And then from here, you want to go into your um, album or track that you're listening to. On the upper right hand corner, you'll see a little speaker icon. You want to make sure that this device is selected. Unfortunately, Tidal is really crappy because it doesn't actually tell you if you're connected to a DAC or not, um, where every other application on the market does. So this is a real bad design from Tidal. And then from here, you want to go down to the volume slider and make sure that's set to maximum. And then that way you can control the listening level through your DAC or your headphone amplifier rather than your phone because you want your phone's output to be set to maximum to the DAC. So your DAC does all the processing. And then from here you can just you can hear from your, from your headphones. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions.